We learned during our show yesterday that Wells Fargo will offer two stark healthcare choices for its employees. This is according to Reuters. Either employees at Wells Fargo put their own pre-tax dollars into healthcare accounts or they pay a much higher health insurance premium. Joining us now is the, joining the company is Dr. Sridhar Pataratsu with Vital Spring Technologies. All right, doctor, have I got that right? Uh, a Wells Fargo employee has got two choices. That's it. You get your health care covered entirely by your own health, health savings account, or you go with the old-style health insurance, which is going to cost you more. Is that it? That's, it? that's exactly right, Stuart. And it's a high-deductible plan, which means that you set these employees up for failure you, uh, as an employer, think that you're actually cutting costs by setting up these high deductible plans or with these health savings accounts. But what happens is that many people stop actually going to the doctor or getting their medications filled. So what does that translate into? Higher costs it means that people don't get the care that they're supposed to be getting. They're hanging on to the money. Uh, and but the now you're seeing it from a doctor's point of view. Let me tell you what it's like from an employee's point of view. If I'm young, relatively young, and I feel pretty healthy, I'll go with the health savings account because that's pre-tax my money, pre-tax money that's going into that account. If I'm feeling pretty healthy, I'll take a little risk to get the cost of my yeah. health down. And now that's a rational choice. I don't that's see any problem choice. with that. What's no, the that's, a that's a rational choice for the young people. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But the real problem is when you get into the older age group of people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and a huge problem has been in the early retirees. We've got about 10 million people on these kinds of plans. That's where the time bomb starts ticking because those people are holding back on getting their blood sugar checked or getting their blood pressure checked. And those are the people where the costs start to go up. The healthy people are not the problem. So that really gets to um, another fallacy about these plans is you can't set aside the same amount for every single person and say that we're just hmm. going to apply a peanut butter spread for everybody. It doesn't work well, like that. Do, do you think that this Wells Fargo plan, do you think they were pushed into it because of approaching Obamacare? Absolutely. Why? And it's, it's not just Wells Fargo because they've got a choice. Either they've got to push the cost back to the employees or they've got to get out of the business of providing health benefits altogether. There's no in between. And so in order to keep their employees and keep people productive so Wells Fargo can stay in business, they've got to sort of manage that very carefully. So the okay. first effort well, is, you know, but that push contradicts more cost what back. the president said when we went into this Obamacare. He said, look, if you like what you've got now, you can keep it. It won't change. But that's not correct, is it? Uh, well, it's not. And this is just one more thing that's been said that's been contradicted, right? So we've said this, you know, as you know, time and time again, nobody is keeping the coverage that they have and nobody is able to keep the costs at where they were. If anybody really wants to have the plan that they had and see all the doctors that they kill, still keep seeing, well, it's going to cost them a heck of a lot more. It already has. And where you have the unemployment rate at where it is right now, this thing is, t this train is totally out of control. Okay. And, you know, and we have to really reel this in in the next several months. Or next the several months? Gonna go. Well, that's going to be difficult. But Dr. Sridhar Prataratsu, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us.